there he is. Well, let's get right to it then. We've got Villager versus uh, Lucario. It's a fairly traditional matchup. Not much has changed historically, but Lucario is Lucario, and if Vivi plays his game, Villager's exploding, especially if he ends up off stage, as he's fairly. Uh, I would say I would say a decent bit has changed because Lucario is not as prone to shooting aura spheres in this game as he was in Smash Four, and obviously against Villager, that's a significant thing, a significant change in strategy that is, and Vivi immediately just recovers super high because he knows he's not going to die from anything, yeah. and he knows as long as he's alive, he's happy. That's one way to put it for Lucario. At least I'm, when it comes to the ground play, like, he's got to worry about the tree, he's got to worry about... Oh, he's got plenty to worry about. Oh, yeah. Do you want to run into a bowling ball? No. I don't think so. That's something we know hurts in real life. Yes, very true. Like, we've never felt the energy of a living being smashed into our face, but we've... We can imagine what a bowling ball on our head feels like. Or an axe. Or an axe. Yeah, he has an axe! A very dangerous young lad. Oh, does Villager have a kill jab? What's... <gasps> he did the infinite! No! Yeah, as long as you got a tree behind you, or I guess any type of solid surface. I completely forgot about that. Villager and, just runs up on you. And like, this isn't over because, again, this is Luca. Look what that did to his shield! You know, I, I hate to make the, the even game jokes, but. It for, is. For real? Vivi is packing heat right now. I am kind of surprised he's not uh, double teaming some of those Lloyd Rockets, though. There we go. Yeah, right on cue. Like, it's not as safe as it was in literally any of the other Smash games, but it's still pretty safe against Villager. And Villager opens up a world of Umbrella to him. Forward tilt on the ledge, always a good option. Although, I guess, like, using the tree as a guise for the threat of Axe, kind of smart on uh, Pokemon's part. Most Villagers don't really go for that, honestly. They just want the tree for the sake of the tree. <laughs> Tree's good. I know. I don't usually see villagers plant the tree specifically so they could chop them down with an axe. Chop the opponent down with an axe. It's a nice option to have, though. Super fast, super strong. It's an axe. Of course. And now Pokemon playing his game, just trying to go for the uh, the kiting with slingshots. I mean, Vivi needs to farm some aura first. <laughs> yeah, taking those little hits works out for him. Aside from raw smashes, he's not going to get a kill anytime soon. There is the buff for being down by a stock, but... It's not really that much. It's less, but it is still there. Oh, of course. That's why his smash attacks can kill. Drops the ball. Yeah, that's cheeky. I, lo I love bowling ball in neutral. Because you're, you're always going to be able to annoy someone just enough that they're going to run more than they want to. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Just drop it. It's safe. It doesn't, it doesn't exert a lot of energy to drop a bowling ball out of your hands. Nice up air. No kill yet, though. And right there, we can see how much weaker Stock Aura is in this game. Shoots the Aerosphere, pops a balloon. It's a cute idea, but I would, I would hope that Vivi would learn eventually to just use the Aerosphere for its contact hitbox instead of as a projectile. That's what he's... Dude, that's exactly what he's using it for. Because, like, using it just to try and strike... A lucky kill, but uh, yeah. not something that's going to find itself often. No, Vivi uses that a lot. It's not making contact with Pokéline because Villager never stays on the ground. Like, that only works if they're staying put or shielding, and Villager is always jumping because he's got to hit with those little slingshots. Yeah. He's trying Pew. to scoot away, man. Look at him go. Pew. 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 Yeah, Vivi just accidentally charges it to Max because, you know, it still is charging every time he pulls it out. So he has to find the right time to get rid of it. At times, if I ever do this matchup as Wii Fit Trainer, I'll just throw the Salute the Sun the wrong way off the stage. Which is smart. You know, assuming I'm not getting harassed by endless slingshots. Now, there is something important in this matchup that Vivi is not taking advantage of. And there he goes. Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about with Chop Tree. Oh, no. When Villager pulls out that Lloyd Rocket at point blank, there's actually a decent amount of time before its hitbox becomes active. So if you're close enough, you can kind of just run up to him and grab him. Honestly. And with Lucario, especially Force Palm is actually a fairly decent tool, especially when, like, Indeed. Aura is fairly charged up. He should also just Force Palm. It is a projectile, but it's not pocketable. It's reflectable, it's absorbable, but it's not pocketable. And it helps with getting past the tree, helps with getting past most of the villagers' distress, except for, like, Max. He can also blow up uh, Void Sunshine. Rocket just like that. All right. Vivi's been doing a good job, though. Because this is Vivi's strength. 
like, this is partly Lucario's fault, but Vivi's neutral isn't the strongest in the universe, but again, that's kind of because Lucario doesn't have a very strong neutral. And to be fair, he but doesn't the thing really is, need one. Goodbye. 72? But the thing is, Vivi is amazing at never getting hit by kill moves. He's great. He's not good at avoiding moves in general, but he knows which moves he has to avoid. And honestly, I think that's the most sadistic part of his play. He knows how to get hit without dying. In a way, both of these guys are sort of playing the same game, where they just want to weather their opponent down a little bit by a little bit, and then once it comes down to the last stop, no, 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 really they're both it. playing the game where Lucario gets weathered down. <laughs> true, true, true. Because Pokelam wants to damage Vivi, and Vivi wants to damage Vivi. <laughs> no, I'm just saying Vivi is really good at it. Well, he is. Like Vivi will willingly throw himself into moves if he doesn't think he'll die from it you know, in order to avoid something deadly. And to Vivi's credit, he very often goes for trades instead of just, like, accepting the damage. That's so he's true. at least getting that little tit-for-tat on his opponents. It's hard for Lucario to get a trade, though. Like, I know he'll go for it, but it's hard, since his moves are a little slow, a little small, things like that. All right, now here's something that I don't think Lucario is very familiar with doing. What does Lucario do in a timeout situation when he's actually not all that strong? Um, like, Pokelam could, because Lucario's weak right now. He can't really put a lot of damage on the board. If Pokelam gets a couple of hits right now, like, Lucario can't really extend the lead by all that much. That was so Is super, he dead at nah, 50? No, but... Super risky of stream speed. And Vivi... Hey, oh, terribly? No! He sh that was too much. He should have just went for the timeout game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Stop! John, I just want to share with you that I have yet to see a timeout in competitive play yet. And, and is this about game, to be the game. first time? And Vivi takes game one. I finally see the timeout. I'm so happy. I'm so mad. I'm so happy. I'm all kinds of... I'm all kinds of nettled. I'm elated. This is the first time I've ever seen a Lucario in a timeout situation, though. Because we all know this was caused by Villager, but... You know, because Lucario was out here getting kills at, like, 70. Well, yeah, but it went to timeout because it's kind of like the two game plans that they're going for. That Villager is trying to wear you down, and Lucario, Vivi's Lucario, is avoiding nothing except for avoiding everything except kill moves. Wait. Yes. Not avoiding everything except kill moves. That's it. Not avoiding everything except kill moves. So, Vivi's stocks just last 10 million years. And it's just like, wow, okay. So now the honest is on Pokéland to try and figure out how to like push yeah. push it a little bit more, get a little bit more Yeah, aggro. it's mostly because Pokéland was unable to finish the stocks. He kept Vivi in these like never-ending strings of, you know, pressure and edge guarding. He was edge guarding Vivi forever. And it's like, oh, Vivi got back on the stage, but got harassed to the other edge anyway. I feel like this could be like supplemented if Pokemon starts to try and juggle a bit more, because Villager's juggle game on Lucario isn't that bad. Uh, and on the off, off it's chance that he gets three turnips, that could just suddenly be a kill. If not, two and one do a fine job of keeping Lucario from safe landings. All right, so on that, I understand that up air is a really fast move, and it's really big as long as he gets two turnips. But you have to remember, the move has a lot of uh, frames overall if he doesn't land immediately. True. Like, he'll pull up those turnips, and then he's going to look at those turnips and be like, these are some pretty turnips, and then put them away. Like, the market's looking good today, boys. The market's the stock market. Saturday is the last day to sell your turnips. Oh! Ooh. That's right. Double Team actually tracks the opponent now a little bit. So even if you try to jump, there's no escape from the dog. He hunts you down, man. Yeah, they're both looking for kills. It's just, Vivi won't get hit by kill moves, and Pokelam is just much too evasive to get hit by a kill move. So it just turns into the long game. Like, look at this. We're already a minute and a half in, and neither of them are at 100. You can even see that Pokelam is putting out a lot more forward smash now. And like He was throwing forward smashes. Every time he landed on that platform, he was just like bowling ball immediately. True, but like, like, now it's like a lot of them, and they're not even really close to Vivi. He's trying to call out any type of movement option. I mean, why not? It's safe. And given that it's... Oh, oh here we go. I forgot that's a move. It's a good move. Good punish. If he didn't slide over the... Uh, yeah, Lucario doesn't slide over if he's on a floor like that, so... 
Now, Vivi was in the situation last game where he lost first stock, but still took it, in quotation marks. But yeah, it doesn't matter until we come down to the last stock, and that's kind of how it goes for both of these characters. Oh. Yeah, Vivi will take it. He doesn't care. He knows he's not getting a kill of 40, unless he hits raw smash. Yeah, he awesome. would need like the, the Pratt fall into there you go. something or just get double team and explode Villager because he's got a big head. Oh, he's got such a big head. Don't have to be too mean Goodbye. about it. Yeah, he's he's a little sensitive and then he and, likes to drop all Okay, I'm like, is he really not going to bowling ball him? All right, this is looking good for Poke Lamb. Please don't break his shield again. I was like, is he really about to bust that shield? I'm like, I saw it was happening. He had the... Uh, he had the Lloyd rocket out, and then he hit him with the axe. He was getting close to hit him with the axe, and then the tree was going to hit him. I was like, he's going to break his shield if Vivi doesn't get out of there right now. And, yeah, Vivi did not get out of there. Villager has so many methods of breaking shield. Don't tell me he's going for timeout. Uh, Yo, he could. He could, because he's up a whole stock, and Lucario was not damaged. I'm like, he put down the tree and just kind of stood there. I'm like, what's the plan there? Is he really thinking about it? He's got a little bit south of four minutes to his name. So I don't think on. I don't think you can time Lucario for four minutes. I mean, he doesn't have it the worst because Lucario can't just throw aura spheres at him. So he doesn't have any way to counter camp him, but still. If Vivi wants to be like a, a true belligerent Lucario, he could just run up on Pokemon and just double team. Hope don't for the do best. That. No, I, I never want to see it. Vivi is. But we just saw it and it almost works. Yeah. Well, it's dangerous that now for Lucario to just try it. Because they realize, wait, double team is always safe in Smash 4. And then, yeah. And Delicious. It's not that strong, actually. It's The hit is like a Zero Suit's up B finishing hit, where it's like heavy DI-able. So if you just hold down, you don't die. Can't punish that. Oh, Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Happening again. <laughs> History is <laughs> repeating itself, John. Am I gonna get two timeouts in one day? <laughs> in one set, even? Am I allowed this much fun? Yeah, I respect. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I'm like, is he really throwing Aura Spheres at Villager right now? He really should just double team those things, though. They're safe enough as long as he doesn't, like, stop at a ledge. But I'd have to see it a little more to say for sure. Oh my god. That shield, to... it's bullying time. He didn't count 11. God. <laughs> oh my god, that almost <laughs> he killed. almost died. <laughs> no good, though. He let, he let him live. It's, it's villager. It's and you see so that? Much, like How Vivi got hit live. by everything except the one backer that would have killed him, you know? Vivi's looking at all this blood red <laughs> damage, and he's like, <laughs> yummy. Mmm, delicious, del yum, 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 delicioso. <laughs> Vivi just needs, like, Nair. No, he's at forward smash. Then, okay. Oh, yeah, no, he's done. All I right. was like, he's at forward smash kill percent. Like, Lucario just needs Nair and then forward smash. And oh, look at that bug he found. That thing's only worth, like, 2,000 bells. That ain't shit, man. It's beautiful. It's not beautiful. He's ugly. You know where that, that bug is going to go? Right, right to Tom Nook. Right to Tom Nook. Right to Tom Nook. You're saying that like you have a problem with Tom Nook. Hey, listen. He, he, everyone always gives Tom Nook so much trash, but he lets you live forever, and you don't have to pay any of your loans. I mean, I think the more impressive thing is he gives you a house without a down payment. Like, you don't have a down payment. There's no limit on the loans. There's no interest on the loan. Like, he's one of the best. He's such a, And he, he'll paint your house for free after he builds you a new one. Yeah, like the only issue, the only problem is he reminds you every day. He's like, ah, oh, listen, if, don't if you were several about thousand thing. dollars in debt to someone and you saw them on a daily basis, I'm sure it would come up in conversation. Every day. Especially as you, like, help them make money. One, yeah. Go. Stadium 2 is the <laughs> setting. <laughs> I like how that he just opened the match by just face planting and dropping a potted plant like that. Just like, blah. See how it goes. We can't really say much until they actually get damage on the board. Well, as indicative of games one and two, it's going to be a bit of a slow burn on these first stocks. We should see about a, a minute and a half of messy neutral, and then someone blows up. Yeah, guys, this is the part where you go make your popcorn. 
Oh, that was game one. If you didn't make your popcorn already, like, save it for the ads. Because now's the exciting part. Where if the messy neutral doesn't end out fun, now, like, the pressure's on for either of these guys to go for a timeout if necessary. Because <laughs> they're both willing to play patiently. Yeah, look at him. He's going up high because he knows, oh, the bowling ball could kill me, but the slingshots will never kill me right now. Nice. Vivi's just got good instincts. Poke Lamb's got good spacing. Wow. I wish he would at least try Force Palm against the uh, Lloyd Rocket. I want to see what it does. You'll break the, the, uh, the Lloyd. Yeah, we have to remember the Shield Break was a really big part of that last game. If he doesn't get one of those this game, it might be really difficult for Poke Lamb to clean out a sock. Well, take note of where Pokemon is trying to chill when he's going for the, the zoning war. He's making sure to either use the, the platform. Standing on the platform. Like, he's either standing on it or standing beneath it, keeping himself between the edge of the platform, like the inside edge, or the ledge itself. So yeah, like there's a reason for that. Reason. He's doing it. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh, he better just jump out of there, risk getting up aired by Villager. Or get locked down by getting pummeled by the tree again. Yeah, Vivi, I think Vivi realized that if he tried to jumble jump over... Uh, Poke Lamb's head, he might have gotten up aired, but he had to take the risk because he didn't want to get his shield broken again. Here we go. What's he going to do? He should. Well, he, you know, while Poke Lamb's camping like that, he should just throw the Aura Sphere away. He hasn't connected a single one except at the beginning of the set. And it literally could be a stock from zero if he. Uh, look at that. And, yeah. All right, using it to break Lloyd isn't the worst of options, but I do agree with you on the the notion that he should just get rid of it so he can keep his contact at Get rid of it. Yeah, he, he really wants to hit the Aura Sphere Charge, but again, Villager is not sitting still for that. See, you see how he keeps trying to land? There it goes. Yo, with the hot call out. All right, Vivi. He's like, he's going to come down. I'm surprised uh, Pokelam didn't slingshot in that situation, but so it goes. All right, and right now... Pokelam has a lot of things he can kill with close slingshots, bowling balls, back back throw. And I think up throw kills too, if I remember correctly. Uh, not unless you catch him on the plats. And there he goes, back air. And after three whole minutes, that's the first duck. There's our Messi. All right. I think you are going get to get to see two timeouts. We get to share a very special moment together, John. Whatever it takes. <laughs> It's nice to see how well Vivi's like, like Dodge, touching slingshots. Yeah, he's doing it in a, like an aggressive manner. Like he's figuring his way around the slingshots arc, and then where he can jump himself in towards uh, Villager. It's more because Villager doesn't really have a way to challenge people just jumping straight over his head. So Vivi's like, oh, he's gonna do slingshot. I'm just gonna jump really high, and you know he could get the turnups, but like it's not that easy to just hit turnups like that. Right. Plus, we haven't oh, seen Pokemon really go for it. For any up air pressure, no, he's done a couple. He's times. done a little bit, but not enough. Where not enough. Where it's like a, a threat that's at the front of Vivi's mind. Y'all, Okay Land planted that thing right in Vivi's face. He could have just did anything, but Vivi was scared of the little sapling. He's doing a great job, though. Come on, what do we got? Big old tree. Oh my God, stop! No, he's just going. Yeah, and he's winning because of it. By three percent. <laughs> they're both animals, though. Oh my God! They're both animals. The villager is a demon. Look at that smile. How can you call that a demon? I want to protect that smile. Because he's smiling as he hawks an axe into your face. Hey, he puts a little oh. effort into it in this game. Vivi finally hits the first Aura Sphere charge of the set. Unfortunately, not amounting to much more than damage. Big damage. Here we go. Ooh. Poke Lamb's not having it. Good shielding. Up air. That was one turn up. That's what I was talking about. Like, We I need to ban Villager for his RNG. Ah, yes. Because if he got two or three turnips, he would have killed. This inconsistency is not good for competition. That was a whole 70% chance of just death. God, that happened to me too once in Smash 4. I was fighting Captain Awesome, I'm and so he sorry. read my jump and did up air and hit me, but it was one turn up, and then I won. I'm not as sorry. Poke Lamb's looking for it. He doesn't want to let... Oh, God, but he knows it's dangerous to just... There it is, back air, but it's not enough. 
What's he gonna do? Nice. Ooh. That's right, jump over. There we go, finally seeing down air into Force Palm connect and manage to put Vivi in the lead. But nope. not for long. Nope, it's timeout time, boys. 75 seconds of goodness. Yeah. What's going to happen? They both could, honestly. Okay, never mind. I was like, they could have both just backed off and, like, agreed to the one stock three-minute rematch. That's, that's a big brain play. I would have, like, suggested it immediately if it came up. I'm like, do you want to just let this time out? Do you think someone would do that in tournament, though? Or do you have to do that by, like, game three or whatever no, game No, I'm literally be? just saying, while I'm on the respawn platform, I could just stand up and say, hey, do you want to just let this time out? That's smart. Like, I don't want to do this with one minute on the clock. I want to do this with three minutes on the clock. Three right. seconds it's, left. I know, but there's not a big enough lead for either of them to just run for it. And now there is. But this is Lucario we're talking about. All right, we are going to see Vivi be extremely aggressive in these last 20 seconds. He wants his Nair. He needs he anything. What did you he see, do? he went for forward tilt there, but oh, if he just went for I think force that's bomb. It. He has to, or he's not going to, yeah. Oh, super aggro. Vivi's not paying off right now. Forward smash just gets He finally does it for the first. He can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, shit. He hit oh, him. he hit him he too. Hit him. Oh, my God. I respect it, Vivi. Oh. Oh. No, he just All right, there we go. <sighs> well, there's your two timeouts. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Anyone who's wow. talked to me at a tournament knows that I've wanted a timeout in bracket for so long. And I just haven't seen them. I haven't been there for them. But now I am.